live tonight in Pittsburgh for Friday Night Smackdown and days removed from the King of the Ring, we have a new WWE Women's Champion and the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Tonight, it's an open challenge to the Smackdown Women's Division who will step up and gain the ultimate opportunity against Baszler in your main event. And also coming up tonight, not one but two Money in the Bank qualifying matches already signed as Dakota Kai takes on EO Sky, who's heading to the 16th of July. And as for the men, who will join Tommaso Ciampa from Raw as the second man to qualify? Braun Breaker takes on one half of the former World Tag Team Champions and Mustafa Ali. All that and more coming your way right here tonight at the PPG Paints Arena in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And what bigger way to kick things off than with the World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Hot off the heels of retaining the big gold belt against the Rated R Superstar this past Sunday night in Philadelphia. McIntyre has been challenged by a longtime rival in the modern name Maharaja Jinder Mahal. And the special caveat, if Jinder Mahal can defeat Drew McIntyre, he will earn himself a future World Heavyweight Championship match. Will Mahal get it done or will the reign of McIntyre steam through Pittsburgh tonight on SmackDown? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Well, a month ago on SmackDown, the Rated R Superstar called his shot. He said he was coming for the World Heavyweight Championship. And this past Sunday, boy, did we ever get a clash of titans in Philadelphia, King of the Ring. An absolute war of the worlds between Drew McIntyre and Edge. And in the end, through everything these three men threw, threw at each other, Drew McIntyre leaving the Wells Fargo Center still on top of Friday nights as the World Heavyweight Champion. McIntyre has turned away the challenges of Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, John Cena at Backlash, Braun Breaker at Vengeance, and Edge at King of the Ring. The question remains now, is Jinder Mahal going to be next on the list to challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship? He's had some recent losses, but this matchup is the opportunity that the former WWE Champion may have been waiting for. Mahal picks up the W. He's on his way to a world title matchup. Can he get it done? The stage is set, and the opportunity is on the line. And his opponent from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal, a former WWE champion in his own right. And it was just last week at Super SmackDown in Washington, D.C., where McIntyre teamed up with Edge to take on Robert Roode and the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. The Hall taking the pinfall loss just seven nights ago. And this ever looming issue with Drew McIntyre finally set to come to a conclusion here to kick things off on what is going to be a great night of action here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Several Money in the Bank qualifiers lined up as we are coming your way on the 16th of July from the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio for that epic live premiere event. Cannot wait to get to the Money in the Bank next month. We are hot off the heels of the biggest week in Universe Mode history. We once again want to thank you for joining us all throughout last week. And of course concluded with the King of the Ring with the action not stopping for anybody. Wait a minute. Drew McIntyre looking to make a quick order of Jinder Mahal tonight. One Claymore kick back in the corner off the bell and a second Claymore. McIntyre doesn't get paid by the hour. Back inside the corner and another Claymore kick. A three-peat by the World Heavyweight Champion. Thanks for coming, Jinder Mahal. My goodness, was a statement just made. Drew McIntyre. I, I would take that as a challenge to the SmackDown locker room. You think you're ready? Think again, because Drew McIntyre is operating on a completely different level than anybody in WWE. Here's your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Well, Drew McIntyre. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. 
the Viper, Randy Orton! Randy Orton in the ring! Ambushing Drew McIntyre from behind! And he's got the world title! Orton's got the title in his grasp! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! The title to the head of the Scottish Warrior! And talk about calling your shot! Randy Orton laying out the World Heavyweight Champion! And I think the Viper has set his sights on Drew McIntyre and the big gold belt. Well, we are back live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and it is time for our first Money in the Bank qualifying match of the evening. This time for the women's division of WWE. This past Monday night on Raw, we saw the man Becky Lynch and Mi Chin Mia Yim punch their tickets. Two of the six spots already filled. And now some women from SmackDown set to get their opportunity to punch their own tickets to the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio next month. Io Sky set for action against a woman she has teamed up with in the past, but tonight opposite ends of the ring for Io Sky and Dakota Kai. This is going to be a good one on SmackDown. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, Sunday night, July the 16th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, the Nationwide Arena, Columbus, Ohio, one of the most exciting events on the WWE calendar, Money in the Bank. Opportunity going to be on the line next month. Not one, but two Money in the Bank ladder matches. We will see who joins Tommaso Ciampa from Raw on the men's side of things later tonight. But right now, Dakota Kai, Io Sky, one-on-one -on -one here in Pittsburgh an epic Money in the Bank qualifying affair. As we mentioned, these two women teaming up just a few months ago on SmackDown. Io Sky filled in the role of Bailey, who usually teams up with Dakota Kai, and it seems that whole partnership has really fallen apart in the backstage areas as of late. Every woman out for themselves as Io Sky takes the fight to Dakota Kai. We saw Sky in action just seven nights ago on SmackDown in a losing but impressive effort to now former one half of the women's tag team champions, Raquel Rodriguez. Of course, Raquel Rodriguez and Aaliyah losing those tag team titles this past Saturday night in the Hammerstein Ballroom at our channel member exclusive WWE Live event, the new tag team champions. Katana Chance, Kaden Carter, a part of Friday Night SmackDown. The biggest win of their careers thus far. Raquel Rodriguez is gonna have her opportunity in the near future to qualify for Money in the Bank, but right now Dakota Kai taking the fight to EO Sky. Speaking of championships, of course, in our main event tonight, the brand new WWE Women's Champion, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, who has been dominating SmackDown for months, will be issuing that open challenge to the women's locker room. You gotta wonder who's gonna step up and get an opportunity at the gold right here tonight in Pittsburgh. Shayna Baszler tapping out Liv Morgan this past Sunday, ending just over a month reign of Liv Morgan for the Women's Championship in Philadelphia. I'm sure Liv from Monday Night Raw will live to fight another day, but tonight Shayna Baszler looks to give some opportunity to the rest of the SmackDown locker room. We will see who's going to fight the Queen of Spades in your main event tonight. But well, right now, Dakota Kai has got Io Sky in an absolutely precarious situation. Sky's got to get back into this matchup, or Dakota's going to be on her way to Money in the Bank. Great showing thus far from Dakota Kai. And as we mentioned, off that pump kick. Now wait a minute, Dakota Kai looking to qualify for Money in the Bank, not just yet. As we mentioned, just seven nights ago, Io Sky, she came up short to Raquel Rodriguez in Washington, D.C. on SmackDown, but an absolutely impressive showing on that night. Io Sky reminding the WWE Universe why she was once on top of NXT as the NXT Women's Champion, former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion as well. Io Sky wants to climb the ranks yet again here in WWE. So a long career ahead of that woman. She wants to punch her ticket to Money in the Bank. If she's gonna do so, she's gotta battle out of this predicament that she is in right now against Dakota Kai, who has controlled the majority of this matchup. Io loves to take things to the sky, as we all know. And look at this, he's got Dakota on top. Could be looking for a Spanish fly from the top rope. 
very impressive maneuver by the Queen of the Sky. Dakota's down and out. Io Sky still on the ropes, and Io looking to do what she does best, delivering the most picture-perfect moonsault in the business today. And that'll do it. Io Sky picking up the victory, battling from underneath and fighting through adversity, and Io Sky has found her way to Columbus, Ohio next month, and she is now joining Becky Lynch and Mi Chin Mia Yim in the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Here is your winner, EO Sky. Big time victory for that young woman. And now the first SmackDown participant in the women's Money in the Bank ladder match officially signed. There's the field thus far. Three of six have been determined. Mi Chin Mia Yim, EO Sky, and the man Becky Lynch. But who will join these women? And of course, who will take down the briefcase on the 16th of July? Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the Join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. Already tonight on SmackDown, Wesley picking up a victory over JD McDonough. Plus, we got a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup between Bailey and Raquel Rodriguez. And the women's tag team champions, Carter and Chance, take on Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark. The results of those contests see Raquel Rodriguez qualifying for Money in the Bank. So there you have it. Four women determined. Two from SmackDown, two from Raw. Two spots still available at Money in the Bank. And the new women's tag team champions of WWE... Caden Carter and Katana Chance picking up the victory over Zoe Stark and Nikita Lyons tonight in Pittsburgh. We are back inside the PPG Paints Arena, and it is time to determine who will join Monday Night Raw's Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa, the first SmackDown participant for the men's Money in the Bank ladder match set to be determined right here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is going to be a great contest between two hungry competitors on the SmackDown brand. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. Well, Mustafa Ali and, of course, the one and only Ricochet, now former World Tag Team Champions as they came up short to Rawls, Damian Priest, and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day this past Sunday night in Philadelphia, King of the Ring. It was a great reign for Ali and Ricochet, nothing to be ashamed of in defeat. From WrestleMania Saturday, or excuse me, WrestleMania Sunday in February all the way till this past Sunday night at King of the Ring. An epic reign for Ali and Ricochet turned away any and all challengers, but unfortunately the numbers game with the Nightmare Rhea Ripley in the corner of Priest and Balor just too much to handle. New World Tag Team Champions here in the WWE. But Ali with an opportunity to bounce back tonight. Qualify for Money in the Bank. But certainly a dangerous competitor standing across the squared circle. A young, hungry, pissed off Braun Breaker looking to get the opportunity I'm sure he feels he deserves. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in. 230 pounds, Well, the last time we saw Braun Breaker in action was just a couple of weeks ago on SmackDown when he came up short in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament to the show off Dolph Ziggler. And I know whispers around the locker room are saying that Braun Breaker has not forgotten about the show off. That Braun Breaker says Dolph Ziggler is going to have his day. At the end of the day, though, Braun Breaker, he better be focused on the matters at hand, and that is an opportunity to qualify for the 2023 Men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Braun Breaker, in recent memory, went one-on-one -on -one with the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre. That was last, last month at the Vengeance pay-per-view. Coming up short, and now another opportunity for Braun Breaker presenting itself tonight. He wasn't able to become the champion last month. He wasn't able to move on in King of the Ring. Will he be able to qualify for Money in the Bank? Or will Mustafa Ali be able to bounce back? 
after him and Ricochet lost those prestigious tag team titles this past Sunday. All remains to be seen, but I'm sure these two men coming in hungry for opportunity tonight. And so far, Braun Breaker looking to make the most of it over the top rope and down to the floor crushing Ali. Braun Breaker not wasting any time tonight. No waste in motion for the former two-time NXT champion. May not like the attitude of Braun Breaker, but an absolute physical specimen, a blue chipper as we call him, on the SmackDown brand. Gonna have his breakout day one day. And maybe that night is tonight. Maybe Braun Breaker changes his momentum. And maybe Braun Breaker is gonna be the one to take down the briefcase on the 16th of July. All remains to be seen, or will it be Mustafa Ali? Just had one hell of a last 12 months here in the WWE. Ron Breaker off the top rope. Will that do it? Not just yet. But speaking on Mustafa Ali, I mean, his story well documented. 2022 was really a bounce back year for Mustafa Ali, really regaining his momentum, getting his career back on track. Held the United States Championship for a short period. Multiple victories over Seth freaking Rollins last summer. Of course, winning the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic with Ricochet, followed up with the World Tag Team titles. Now a new opportunity arises for Mustafa Ali tonight. Going for the dropkick for a second time in this matchup. Breaker has it scouted though. Now Ali really struggling to mount some momentum in this battle. Wait a minute, there's a neck breaker there. Let's see if Ali can get into this Money in the Bank qualifier. All the tools to be a world champion. Same goes for Braun Breaker, but who's gonna make the most as the opportunity is presented to them tonight? Off the Inziguri. And Ali sent a breaker into the corner. As you see, no ricochet out in the corner of Ali tonight. They've been watching each other's backs for months as tag team champions, but this is a solo opportunity for Ali here this evening. If Ali's gonna do it, I'm sure he wants to get it done all by himself. And he's got the opportunity, and he's got the skills to do so. We have called Mustafa Ali on many occasions, the heart and soul of Friday Night SmackDown. Ron Breaker on the outside here. Trying to get his wits about him, but Ali coming over that top rope and giving Breaker a taste of his own medicine. Mustafa Ali not afraid to take things to the air as we know so well. Breaker on his tail, but Ali ready for him and taking him off his feet for a second time. Mustafa Ali is starting to gain control of this Money in the Bank qualifier tonight in Pittsburgh. And down goes Breaker again. Gotta say, I'm liking Ali's chances right now. He survived the early onslaught from Braun Breaker. Can he put together the pieces to defeat the young man face first off the canvas? That's gonna do it. No! Braun Breaker getting the shoulder up and the matchup rolls on. Very physical contest in your first SmackDown men's Money in the Bank qualifier. As we mentioned, Tommaso Ciampa defeating Solo Sokoa this past Monday Night on Raw, the first man to qualify for the six-man ladder matchup coming up next month. Of course, this Monday Night on Raw, we will see the almighty Bobby Lashley taking on the visionary Seth freaking Rollins in another Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. But who is going to make their way on behalf of Friday Night SmackDown? Will it be Braun Breaker or will it be Mustafa Ali? Ali off the forearm, not able to capitalize. Braun Breaker ragged on his opponent. The powerhouse, but nobody home off the Stinger Splash. And here comes Ali with the pop-up tornado. Vintage Ali. Braun Breaker rolling out of the ring, surprised by the offense by Ali. Ali using his speed and agility to his advantage right now. Braun Breaker's down, Ali now heading to the top. What has Ali got in mind? Here he comes with the splash to the rib cage. And not going for the cover just yet. Ali knows how tough Breaker is. He knows he's gonna have to inflict some more punishment and dropping the leg on the throat of Breaker. If a man can't breathe, he can't fight. But Braun Breaker still got life left in him. Double whammy off the top rope by Mustafa Ali, but Braun Breaker Still swinging for the fences. As we mentioned, Breaker has let a couple of big time opportunities slip through his fingers in recent weeks. The World Heavyweight Championship match last month at Vengeance. 
the King of the Ring first round matchup against Dolph Ziggler. Both losses for Breaker. Can he bounce back tonight? Send it Ali off the top rope there. Ron Breaker really avoiding disaster. But for how long? Ali is really starting to build momentum. Oh, wait a minute now. Braun Breaker has had enough of the mind games. Press slam! And down goes Ali! The speed and agility meets the power and ruthless aggression of Breaker. And the blue chipper, the blue brand, is heading to Columbus, Ohio. Great effort by Ali, but Braun Breaker too physical to handle here tonight. Here is your winner, Braun Breaker. Well, Braun Breaker counting his lucky stars that an opportunity yet again did not slip through his fingers. And the former two-time NXT champion joins a man who knows that brand very well. The first two participants in the six-man Money in the Bank ladder matchup confirmed. Tommaso Ciampa at SmackDown's Braun Breaker. And coming up next week here on Friday night, the one and only Ricochet. Let's see if he can get the job done as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the glorious Robert Roode in another qualifying matchup. And as for the women's division, coming up next week, former tag team champions and two women who got a lot of history across the ring from each other, the EST Bianca Blair, the ballsy badass Shotzi, reignite that old rivalry in a qualifying matchup. And what about this main event sign for next week after the actions of Randy Orton earlier tonight? He will team up with the 2023 King of the Ring winner, Austin Theory, to take on the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre and a partner of McIntyre's choosing who will stand by the Scottish Warrior next week on what is going to be a stacked edition of Friday Night SmackDown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the Raw Women's Championship. Well, it is main event time here in Pittsburgh. And look who has shown up to challenge Shayna Baszler for the WWE Women's Championship of the World. For the first time since WrestleMania, Candice LeRae is back. And she is on SmackDown. The last time we saw Candice alongside her tag team partner, Indy Hartwell, was WrestleMania Saturday back in February when these two women lost the Women's Tag Team Championship to Bianca Belair and Shotzi. But Candice LeRae, after taking a few months hiatus, is back on SmackDown alongside her tag team partner, and it's a very interesting situation because Indy Hartwell has had her issues with the Queen of Spades in recent months. Indy Hartwell has come up short on multitudes of occasions to Shayna Baszler. Tonight, Candice LeRae gets a chance to change the momentum for the way and take home the Women's Championship. But there is the brand new WWE Women's Champion of the World, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. She has been running rough shot over Friday night SmackDown for months. As we mentioned, multiple victories over Indy Hartwell. Also owns victories over Nikita Lyons, Zoe Stark, and then not once, but twice last week, tapping out Liv Morgan in the middle of the ring. And of course, the most important victory coming this past Sunday in Philadelphia, and the Queen of Spades bringing the Women's Championship to Friday night SmackDown. So what is a big fight feel here tonight in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? Shayna Baszler issuing an open challenge. She's got an attitude about her, and quite frankly, you can't argue it. Shayna believes she is one of the most talented, one of the most physical, one of the most dominating women in WWE history, and she's out to prove it here tonight. Big time main event on Friday Night SmackDown. For the WWE Women's Championship of the World, Candice LeRae is back, and it is time to send things down to the ring for your official introductions. Introducing the challenger from Riverside, California, Candice LeRae! And her opponent from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, she is the Raw Women's Champion, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler!
it is main event time here at the PPG Paints Arena, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Friday night SmackDown and a high stakes, high reward affair. The WWE Women's Championship of the World on the line. Shayna Baszler issuing the open challenge. Answering is the returning Candice LeRae. Will Candice LeRae shock the world or will Shayna Baszler's dominance continue? We are underway in your main event. Candice's first match back since WrestleMania Saturday. And what bigger way to return to action than fighting the brand new women's champion? And will Candice LeRae's surprise be enough to take Shayna Baszler down tonight? Going around with the submission hold here. Shayna Baszler, fine art in submission wrestling is she. Not only knows how to apply a lot of the holds, but knows how to get out of them as well as she tackles down Candice with the spear. Gotta wonder if any ring rust is gonna play in to Candice LeRae's game plan tonight. Especially as we mentioned, your first match back, you're answering the challenge of Shayna Baszler. By all means, take advantage of the opportunity, but you gotta know it is a tall task ahead of her. Shayna Baszler's been dominating on SmackDown, tapping out everybody left and right, including the now former women's champion Liv Morgan. First at Raw Homecoming last week and then at King of the Ring this past Sunday. Candice LeRae is tough as nails. She's gonna bring the fight to Shayna Baszler as she does best. One half of the former women's tag team champions from Survivor Series last year all the way to WrestleMania Saturday back in February. And as we mentioned, this is Candice LeRae's first match since then, so we will see how Candice LeRae plays into this matchup. Right now, Shayna Baszler really trying to feel out her opponent. Again, this was an issued open challenge by the Queen of Spades, so she's got to expect to be thrown off her game tonight. And now that Shayna Baszler has got her opponent inside of the ring, the bell has sounded. Now really putting together a blueprint. And really the blueprint may just be inflicting the same amount of punishment she does to each and every opponent. And the question is, will Candice LeRae, knowing that she was going to fight Shayna Baszler tonight, have the pieces already put together in her mind, now it's just time to execute. Is Candice going to throw Baszler off her game? Is Candice going to shock the world and leave Pittsburgh the women's world champion? Oh, wait a minute. Indy Hartwell taking the eye of Shayna Baszler off the matchup. Well, the way has been known to bend the rules here and there in the past. Not necessarily your fairest competitors, but I will say at the same time, Shayna Baszler, you can't say she hasn't earned a little bit of distraction, if you will, at Indy Hartwell. A lot of bad blood there, and Shayna Baszler realizing that Indy's at ringside, and she's going to have to contend with both Candice and Hartwell in this matchup. Baszler back inside the ring. Candice LeRae on her tail, however. We're going to become the women's champion for the very first time in her WWE career. LeRae have held both the women's tag team championships in the main roster and NXT, but singles gold could be coming the way of the veteran of the ring in Candice. She's looking good so far. She is holding her own against the Queen of Spades. What an exciting night. What an exciting week it has been for the women's division. New WWE Women's Tag Team Championships crowned this past Saturday at Hammerstein Ballroom, the channel member exclusive live event. With Casey, or I should say Katana Chance and Caden Carter defeating Raquel Rodriguez and Alaya. And of course, as we mentioned this past Sunday night, Shayna Baszler winning the Women's Championship from Liv Morgan. Already signed for the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup in Columbus, Ohio. Wait a minute! My goodness! Gotta pause what I was saying there to recognize the in-ring ability of Candice LeRae. Springboard, reverse Rana there, and Shayna Baszler eating the canvas for Friday night dinner. My goodness! Candice LeRae motivated as all hell to leave Pittsburgh tonight, the new WWE Women's Champion. Shayna, only strategy she had was to try to outrun Candice LeRae right there. Candice is standing her ground, and she has taken the fight to the champion. Candice LeRae motivated, fired up, and ready to bounce back in WWE, becoming the Women's Champion. Baszler with no answer right now as the onslaught continues into the cover to win the gold. Not just yet as Baszler gets the shoulder up. And what a matchup so far between the champion and the challenger in your main event. The women's Championship getting the spotlight tonight on SmackDown. As we were about to mention before that, beautiful Poison Ronda off the middle rope by Candice LeRae. 
four women already qualifying for the Women's Money Bank ladder matchup next month in Columbus, Ohio. Raquel Rodriguez and Neo Sky from SmackDown meet Chin Mia Yim and Becky Lynch from Monday Night Raw. Still two spots to be determined. What about the match that we got coming your way next week on SmackDown between former tag team champions, longtime rivals, and best friends behind the scenes, Bianca Belair and Shotzi. Next week on SmackDown, and the other spot going to be filled on Monday Night Raw between the Nightmare Rhea Ripley and the Goddess Alexa Bliss. Who is going to win that qualifier? All remains to be seen as the fight gets taken a ringside. And Shayna Baszler could just be looking for the count out victory here. Candice LeRae is bringing her A game tonight against the Queen of Spades. Has she thrown Shayna off the rocker? Is Baszler going to resort to a count out victory here to retain her women's championship? Got to wonder if Baszler is thinking she might have bite off more than she can chew tonight with this open challenge. As the ego of Shayna Baszler blinded her decision making tonight. All remains to be seen if she can get it done. Don't want to doubt the presence of Shayna Baszler inside of the ring. But Candice has clearly done her homework. Avoiding the superwoman punch off the snap German. Baszler went for a ride there. Candice LeRae on her tail yet again. Look at the drop kick. Such speed and agility inside of the ring. By the pixie. Candice LeRae. Shayna down and out. Indy Hartwell ringside, watching her mentor do the work inside of the ring, all in the means of leaving Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania tonight, the WWE Women's Champion of the World. But Shayna Baszler, on the other hand, has got something else in mind. I think she turned her attention that time to Indy Hartwell to mouth off to the partner at ringside, and it almost cost her. Shayna Baszler got to keep her eye on the ball game tonight. Candice LeRae and Indy will not be afraid to bend the rules, especially against Baszler. It's such a high stakes, high reward affair. A lot riding on this matchup. Shayna Baszler muscling up Candice. Power bomb situation into the cover. Not just yet as Candice LeRae survives again. And Baszler again taking her eye off the ball. I don't know who's starting these exchanges, whether it's Indy, whether it's Shayna, but clearly the beef between those two women yet to be settled. And Shayna Baszler might have just costed herself one way or another. And is back into the fight. Surviving the onslaught of Baszler as Baszler has also survived Candice thus far, but the damage gonna start raking up in this matchup the longer this thing goes. We get into the deep waters as we get into championship rounds. Will the champion or challenger be able to have the endurance to outlast the other? Shayna Baszler been much more active inside the ring, but is she coming in 100% tonight after two brutal matches last week here in WWE? First at Raw Homecoming and then at King of the Ring. Well, Candice LeRae not participating in in-ring action since WrestleMania Saturday. Is the ring rust going to play in when it comes to the endurance? All remains to be seen. Baszler in the corner. I've just been lying in wait there. Goading Candace in and she took the bait. But there's a reversal by LeRae. Snapmare. Down goes Baszler again. Is the challenger nearing championship gold. Baszler on the outside. Here comes Candace LeRae with the crossbody. Candace no stranger to taking things to the sky as she does just there. And the double knees, Candice LeRae looking to inflict some impact, inflict some punishment on the champion at ringside yet again. This is one hell of a main event here on Friday Night SmackDown for the WWE Women's Championship. Candice LeRae, of course, cannot win the title via countout, but she could certainly inflict some damage on Baszler, sending the Queen of Spades back inside of the ring. And Candice LeRae could be nearing. A championship being wrapped around her waist upon her return. But Baszler's got other plans. Nice takeover there. Muscling over the challenger at a knee right to the dome. Knockout blow any day of the week. Twice on Friday. And that might have just changed the tide to this match for Shayna Baszler. And a brutal spine buster to the challenger. And here we go. Here comes the onslaught. Here comes the fire and the fury out of the WWE Women's Champion. Baszler dominated NXT at one point as the Women's Champion. She's looking to make history yet again and kick off another dominating reign here on Friday Night SmackDown. 
Step up, Superwoman Punch. Is that all she wrote? Not just yet. Candace has still got heart. Candace has still got fire. The will to succeed. And once again, Shayna Baszler, she better keep her eye on the ball because Candace LeRae coming from behind. I'm prettier. Candace nearing victory, if I say so myself. Not able to put Candace LeRae away off the Superwoman punch. And LeRae has still got blood pumping through the veins. Shayna down and out. Candace LeRae continuing to inflict some damage, continuing on the offense. She knows how tough Shayna Baszler is. She knows she's got to bring this match everything she's got. And now off the middle rope, swinging neck breaker. And Candice LeRae may have just found the recipe for success into the cover. But Shayna Baszler survives again. What a matchup in your main event for the WWE Women's Championship of the World. We are live here on Friday Night Smackdown from the PPG Paints Arena, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Candice LeRae is back, and she has taken the onslaught to Shayna Baszler. There's that stomp. Candice used that same maneuver to success many a times in the Way's Tag Team Championship reign. Elects not to go for the pinfall. Knows that Baszler is still fighting, but it may have cost her. Oh, and a soul food takes Candice off her feet. Candice LeRae almost put down here. Oh, wait a minute. And now a bulldog. Back and forth, the momentum swings in this matchup between champion and challenger. Now Baszler into the corner. Another reversal there. And the Queen of Spades got her eyes locked. Just disrespecting the challenger. The forearms to the face. Sending Candace for a ride to the canvas. And has Shayna Baszler slowed down the pace of this matchup? Has she taken Candace off her game? Somebody who likes to go fast. The speed and agility of the challenger. And now Baszler starting to inflict some damage of her style. Absolutely brutal. The strikes. The physical offense. Baszler looking to beat down her opponent and make Candice LeRae regret making her return on behalf of this open challenge. Into the cover to retain the title. But Candice LeRae kicks out again. You're going to be kidding me. What a freaking main event. Candice LeRae will not die tonight. And she comes from behind with the Bulldog. There's clearly a score to be settled between Indy Hartwell and Shayna Baszler. But right now, Candice LeRae, she smells blood in the water. The champion's down, at least momentarily. And Candice has got her foot on the gas pedal. And the cover again. Will that do it? And Shayna Baszler is still in this matchup. And this is a championship fight if I ever saw one. The heart of the challenger, the will to succeed, the reigning defending champion, surviving everything that the returning Candice LeRae is throwing at her tonight, as is the challenger, at least for a moment, swinging out Candice with that clothesline. Candice to her feet. Shayna avoids it. Now a reversal by Candice and a takedown. Big match players showing up in this big fight feel. Tornado DDT. And Shayna rolling to the outside, trying to catch a breather from her challenger. Nobody home. Oh, man. And a spear on the outside of the ring. I was about to say the lights are on. Nobody's home from the champion. But Shayna Baszler clearly lying in wait. And has got Candice LeRae exactly where she wants her. The spear, the knee. And now the brawl continues on the outskirts of the ring. Candice LeRae is down and Shayna Baszler knows that she is in for the fight of her life. Candice LeRae avoids another shot. But the Queen of Spades, however, taking down the challenger again. These two women got to get back inside the squared circle. Shayna Baszler does. She could be searching for the count out victory here. 
I would hate to see this incredible matchup end at the count of a 10. Candace has got to get to her feet. And she does not. You got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. After that incredible match, after everything Candice LeRae did to try to become champion, Shayna Baszler resorted to a count out victory because she couldn't keep down Candice LeRae. That is ridiculous. Here is your winner. Well, you hate to see such an incredible matchup end at the count of a 10. Shayna Baszler resorted to the count out because she knew she was in for a fight tonight against Candice LeRae. We're going to have to run this one back in the near future. But thank you for joining us in Pittsburgh. And good night, everybody, on SmackDown. On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.